Okay. And what's this one? This is, uh, this is trapezius. So what are these muscles innervated by? Um, aren't they a spinal accessory nerve? Right, so 11. 11. 11. And do you know that 11 comes out of the jugular foramen? Jugular foramen. Which is actually yeah. part of the foramen lacerum and horses. Yeah. yeah, it's confluent. And then these are the... the <laughs> Right, you're not gonna send that out. No, right? yeah, no. It's oh, like we're like la 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 la. Oh, I see. Well, do what? I get commission? <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Whoever's you on. will. If I sell these each for two hundred dollars each and one hundred thirty dollars, I You'll mean, one hundred thirty people in the class. Yeah, yeah I'll add it up. You know, time. It'll be, like a, it'll be like a scholarship. You'd each like, get like four like thousand dollars if, I, if this is it. <laughs> all you guys have to do is give us is for all the classes, and then they'd be set. Yeah. All right. So these turn the head to the side, like if your horse is like, mm -hmm. what's going on? Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, then what about the veins? Let's go through the veins. So this one, guys. Jugular, external. Yes. Then this segment. Maxillary. And then there should be something diving down, going under the. Masseter. Yeah. Masseteric. Masseteric. Okay. And then this one. Superficial temporal. Okay, then we have this one and this one. Do you guys think this is the superficial temporal nerve? Ooh, I don't know. But it's not on our list for it sure. Is. Shit. There's okay. a lot of oh, nerves on the horse. There's a lot of random horse nerves, there, but there's a lot that you can't even see. So. But it won't be on Actually, that. Actually, so no. It, yeah. I don't think superficial temporal is, but like. I just wanted to say that like when we, this exact specimen, we couldn't find like the mass of teric, we couldn't find the nerves, uh -huh. and Ken actually looked at it and goes, well, if I can't find it, you guys oh. don't know. Yeah. Right. So Were you uh, there that yeah, you and he just said dorsal and ventral buckle. Yeah, like that was as far as the neuros go, because he's like, good. I mean, I if freaking. they did, that would be like against even what he said. So okay, I don't know. Just FYI. So lingual facial. Mm -hmm. What's the one that goes on there? The lingual is going to go to the tongue, and then after that, facial. Facial. And we have a dorsal nasal, mm -hmm. which goes with this muscle. Liberator naso labialis. Yeah. And what's the final one? Uh, the angular spongy. So what's the significance of that? There's no valves. Flow goes both ways, and you can get infection because of that. It can go both ways. Oh yeah, of course. There's no valves. Yeah. But usually it's supposed to go like it's going it's both draining both. the head, right? Yeah. It's, okay. So you can get in. So it's true thing. You pop is it, and you can actually. You pop is it, and the blood goes okay. back up to your eyes. Nasolabialis. This is innervated by the facial nerve. Cranial nerve seven. Seven. Which and it works. It in, it originates on the maxilla and mandible. And it inserts onto like the uh, lips. Sorry. The you know the the nostril. Is this lips, a fear? Do these teeth look like measure the mouth. Can measure the mouth. Like so it inserts onto like nostrils. This Where? one oh. is. It's a young horse, huge. and it's huge being tongue. pushed out. It's a giant um, thyroid. Oh, wow. Yeah. Sad. Styloid bone. Okay, so this is originates on the maxillary mandible, and it inserts on like the nose, na like it says here, wing of nostril. I'm just gonna just generally the nostrils and lips, and it works to the raise the upper lip yeah. and dilate the nostrils. It's not the mandible yep. flaring. Like the nasal, no, like I know that, the but it, it the You can do that? Yeah, yeah we're talking the nostrils. Sorry, the, uh, and, and, and it's, it's like the snarling one, and it's oh. dilated their nose. Yeah. Can you see the thyroid 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 th
H. Tyro. And my understanding is that the palpebral nerve does not innervate the greater palpebral superior. Really? Yeah, it's ocular motor. Because if you think about the eye muscles, like the ocular motor does all like the ones that are. And then you, when you do your eye menace test, you don't want to put air to it because then it'll put air on the cornea and that's actually the ophthalmic branch of the trigeminal. Yeah. Okay. Ophthalmic branch. Yeah. Air because your cornea. Ophthalmic is sensory to the yeah. eye. No, so you don't want to do like air. So when okay. you're doing your, um, it's not the menace test, but the tapping of the each corners of the eye. What is? That would be. Uh, do you guys know where the mouth is? It's the, the sensory of the face. Yeah. 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 It would be fine. I remember saying something about it's two different it's branches. Right there. But it was something very esoteric. It's probably something specific in the yeah. This the other, one? The last one yeah. that's innervated okay. by the facial, the last muscle we have to know is the buccinator, okay. which is under here, right? Yeah, yeah. this is a I think this is a And this is a facial temporal. I thought it was just around the lips, but it's a transverse. Oh, no, it's facial. It's the cheek. Buckle means cheek. So the cheek and under the... Over and the that keeps breast. food out of the corner of the mouth. The vestibule. Out of the vestibule. Okay, so the vaccinator, <laughs> also facial, it retracts the commander of the mouth and flattens. Stylus lingus kodawa. Retracts the mouth. Dilator. Very So then we have um, masseter, so which closes the mouth. So does the temporal... Pterygoids. Lateral meat of pterygoids. Are the grinding ones of the pterygoids. Masseter. Do we know what um, nerves those are? Yeah. Okay. So, so, I'm glad you asked. Mandibular <laughs> branch of the trigeminal nerve. Okay. So, Mandibular branch. The, the things that close the jaw are the masseter, the temporalis, the medial pterygoid. Only the medial, not the lateral. Really? Lateral The medial pterygoid is the only yeah, one that... Yeah, it moves the mandible instead of closes. This is the medial pterygoid. And also, yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Also, the digastric. I'm pretty sure that the lateral. Wait, wait, lateral. Isn't that right? It's sorry, lateral pterygoid. So the lateral pterygoid. The tiny ones. All it can do really is side to side. Yeah. Yeah. The digastricus is. I think this is high on You can't see the digastricus on this one. The digastricus is the only one that opens the mouth. Except for, isn't that the sternocytiotis when the horse's head is extended? It also can close the mouth along with the digastricus. No, a sterno. Closing. So that's weird. Okay, okay well, so just so you know, so the temporalis, the masseter, and the two pterygoids are like all innervated by the mandibular branch of the trigeminal, and okay. they all work, almost all work to close the jaw. The, what are the two that are the, the, the jaw? Caudal Digastricus and the rostral digastricus. The, right. the caudal one's innervated by facial. Is that it? Just That's the right. two digastricus?